Air Canada says it's finalizing contingency plans for a possible shutdown as a labour dispute with its pilots continues. That wouldn't be great because we've got a lot of other flights kind of hinging on Air Canada being up in the sky. So uh, yeah, that would be great if they kept going. <laughs> Air Canada and the Airline Pilots Association, which represents 5,200 Air Canada pilots, are currently in the midst of a mandatory three-week cooling-off period. But as of Sunday, September the 15th, the union can issue a strike notice while the airline can issue a lockout notice. Air Canada says either would trigger an orderly wind-down of operations, meaning flights in the Air Canada and Air Canada Rouge network would be progressively cancelled over three days with a complete shutdown possible as early as next Wednesday morning. We wanted to add our uh, oversized luggage and then the guy on the telephone said, oh, maybe there's a strike. And I was like, no, I don't want a strike. The airline says a shutdown would impact around 670 flights and 110,000 passengers domestically and internationally every day. Not good. We don't need any more trouble with anything. <laughs> I know, we're not looking to get stuck in Montreal because we're going for work as well. Fingers crossed it doesn't happen. Yeah. So we can get back home because we have events for work next week. Yeah. We were happy that our plans had uh, been made in advance and that uh, it wouldn't affect us. Yeah. Ahead of a possible strike or lockout, Air Canada says passengers with flights from September 15th to the 23rd can make changes at no cost or receive credit for future travel. We have holidays right now. We are relaxed and in the worst case, I have more holidays than I expected. So I'm relaxed. Air Canada says it would take 7 to 10 days to resume normal operations after a complete shutdown. Wages remain a key sticking point in the dispute. In Richmond, Monica Gould, City News.